there's a long trail of evidence over the last century showing that calorie restriction can extend lifespan, including studies in fish, mice, rats, worms, flies and monkeys. But it wasn't really clear why starvation led to a longer life. If you look at nearly every single animal species, if you restrict its calories across its lifespan, you can extend overall uh, lifespan and maintain health later into life. Now, this is very difficult to translate into humans because it means basically starving yourself, not just for a brief period of time, but across your entire life. Of course, we cannot completely starve a human being, uh, not for very long. So I thought, but what will happen if you just starve a person very shortly? Would that have a long effect? And, and that's what we started focusing on. In a large lifespan study on middle-aged mice, Volta trialed four-day cycles of a very low-calorie, low-protein diet twice a month to mimic the effects of fasting. The results were dramatic. We started seeing incredible benefits on the immune system, uh, where we saw rejuvenation of the immune system and the nervous system. They were remembering better, learning better, lived longer, and had 45% decrease in tumors. And lots of the tumors were benign. So they lived longer, much healthier, really, really remarkable result. The mice lived around 11% longer than normal, but increased their health span dramatically. They also had higher bone density at the end of their lives than mice that didn't fast. Fasting leads to cell die-off, and Volta suspects it's the bad ones that die first. In general, whether it's the, the uh, muscle or is the pancreas, is this shrinking of the organ, killing of the cells, and then when the refeeding starts, then the system has to go back and get back to a normal size organ, which is now being regenerated and rejuvenated. Cycles of fasting in humans showed similar positive results, lowering many risk factors for age-related diseases. These included lowered blood pressure, blood glucose, body fat, decreased insulin-like growth factor, and lower levels of inflammatory markers. The diet also caused a major reduction in white blood cells, followed by stem cell-based immune system regeneration at the end of each cycle. But the intermittent fasting appears to have powers beyond lowering disease risk. It may also be an effective treatment for a range of diseases.